I'm going to do a small experiment here. This uh, block of foam is high density. This stuff is hard. Okay, and like I've got some intentions for that. Anyway, I've broken off a chunk here that I'm going to test with this epoxy resin. Um, this is stuff I've just got lying around. I wouldn't normally use this particular stuff, but just to see out of curiosity how well it will react to the actual chemicals and also the heat generated. Um, so you mix in five parts of this, one part of this. Okay, 100 gram mass will gel in 30 to 50 minutes. So that's also one thing to test. I've got a stopwatch here, I'll do that too. Alright, so I'll pour in, you know what, I'm going to go 50 grams, it's just too much. 50 grams. Yeah, I've got 60, doesn't matter. 62 grams. Go 62 grams, that'll do. Divided by 5 is what? 12? Yeah. So, should be about 75 grams all up. 74, 75 grams with this stuff. 4, 5. There we go. Now. Alright. And start the time. See how long it takes. Currently, the temperature of this stuff is 19, the bench is 17 and a half, this stuff is 19 and a half degrees, we'll measure that as well, all in the design. Now mix it up properly, thoroughly. Oh, yep, of course put on the mask because this could have some fumes. Now, I'll throw in one piece, just a small piece, to see how it goes, how it deals with just the actual resin itself. And then later, as it heats up, we'll obviously see um, how it deals with the heat. Oh. Nothing, nothing at all is happening. As far as I can tell, nothing's happening. I'll push it down into the actual resin. It's not doing absolutely anything, so um, I'll, uh, I'll measure a temperature now, I'll see how the temperatures go. minutes so I'll stop the camera there and I'll check this thing in perhaps let's say five minute intervals so at five ten fifteen minutes quick update at four minutes and well what is that 459 which is five minutes temperature is So the temperature hasn't really moved much. Um, by the way, this is like the, this is the handiest little thing ever. Like you can just point at anything, measure the temperature right away. Alright, check back in a few minutes. The foam is still completely tacked. There's no fumes at all. It's, I mean, I'm not even wearing a mask anymore. Um, keep the gloves on just in case. But uh, yeah, there's nothing happening to that foam. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've already said this before, with uh, resin, epoxy resin and stuff like that, um, the thicker the actual section of laminate or whatever, the, thick, the, the more of it that you have, the bigger sum that you have uh, together, the greater the heat will be. 
So um, that's why I'm using a glass, not a plastic cup or anything, because um, if this gets very hot, a uh, plastic cup will just melt right through. And it's about 9.50 right now on the stopwatch. Let's measure again. Still about 20. 20 and a half roughly. Um, normally I would have a mold that would be heated so it would start off from whatever 25 30 already um, so this would just get kicked off quite uh, a lot quicker in any case you do want this to not gel too quickly because it's got to go through all of the laminate before it actually um, through all of the fabric <laughs> before it hardens could take a little while longer it's only been 10 minutes so far Okay, what I'll do is, the temperature over there in the sun, I've just measured, is about 23 degrees on the uh, bench top as opposed to about 16 or 17 here. So I'll move it over there which should speed things up just a little bit. As far as the um, polyester, polystyrene, sorry, um, foam is concerned, it's just sitting there chilling, it doesn't, couldn't care the least bit um, what it's covered in. So. That's a good sign. It's you know it's been about 13 minutes now and um, no reaction with the foam whatsoever, which is uh, sounds promising so far. Okay, just about 15 minutes right there. Yep. Let's check. 22 and a half. 20 minutes, 31 degrees, 31 and a half degrees. That is unfortunately the temperature of my mustache. The glass here will be 23 24 and a half at 20 minutes. 25 minutes, 24, 56, whatever. Yeah. 24.9 As you can see so far, the styrofoam is still completely unaffected, which is a good thing. It's been about 29 and a half minutes now. Temperature. 29.4 35.13 I'm several seconds late because I just recorded a video for my other channel 24.35 whatever on the outside 31.5 straight down the middle so I don't know I don't know how you want to interpret that um, the temperature does seem to be rising slowly 40 minutes Thirty-two point seven. There. Forty-five minutes. Temperature is thirty-five point nine. The star from itself is completely unaffected at the moment, so I don't know. That I mean, that's very good. I was almost hoping for smoke, some fire, and explosion, but uh, secretly I was really hoping that nothing happens. You know what? It's now 49, 42 seconds. The temperature of this is 36, 35, whatever. So um, what I'm going to do is, because I want to see how much temperature this thing can ha take, I'm not sure how high the temperature will go in its own. I'm going to heat it up again uh, a little bit, not again, a little bit with the heat gun. So there we go. Because that will do for now. That now measuring. Well, 42.7, so I don't know. And that was at, yeah, 51 minutes, 30. Uh, 55 minutes.
43 degrees, yep, 45.8, whatever. So, I mean, so far, that foam is pretty good. Exactly one hour. Cool. 65.7. So, okay, we're getting somewhere. And the foam is still absolutely unaffected. Dip that in there. Turn it upside down. Yep. No, not no. the foam's completely fine still, which is a very good sign. Don't know if you can see that. It's now one hour and um, one and a half minutes. This is what is that? Seventy-five degrees. And if you look at it from just the right angle against the black, yeah, you can see the smoke coming off it. That is not the foam, that is the resin itself. One hour and five. Ho oh, ho! 93 and a half degrees. Um, foam is completely unaffected, that is excellent. Oddly enough, it doesn't seem to be smoking up any more than. Oh, that's gelled. Okay, that's gelled. That, yep. <laughs> Okay, I was going to push the foam in, but um, yeah, no, it's definitely gelled pretty good. Let's go in there, I'll show you. It's just not going down. See that? Okay. About 10 or 15 minutes ago when it was about, you know, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, I could easily, I easily submerged it all the way down. So yeah, well, I guess that's over successfully. I am prepared for the worst. Definitely prepared for the worst here because this thing has just gone skyrocketed in temperature. So at one hour nine, one hour and nine minutes. There we go. Ninety-nine degrees. Okay, the foam does seem to have been quite negatively affected by that. It's uh, completely eaten away. Kind of, well, it's very soft. It's become very soft. But it's around 100 degrees, so that's understandable. That's hard. So, uh, yeah. Well, I think this will be the last update. Uh, and it's... 59 degrees so it's cooling down, it's over uh, the foam yeah, now the foam's had it so at about 100 degrees that foam uh, just melted so uh, that was a worthwhile experience for me um, which is okay I can deal with that. 100 degrees is acceptable. Alright, well stay tuned. I'll have uh, a lot more. I think, well for me at least, this is very interesting. For me. So, I hope you find it equally as interesting.